G'day guys, how are you? Dean here with another Photoshop tip for you. I've got a super cool one for you today. It's really, really easy. It'll blow you away what it does and how quickly within seconds you can clean up and tidy up, blowing out highlights and little hot spots. So look, every now and then this happens, we'll be shooting and there might be light reflecting off some white water or the image, the, the test image that I'm gonna show you that I'm working on today I shot it at sunrise and there was light coming in through behind the pier where the sun was rising. Impossible to deal with it on capture, so you've got to deal with it in post. Um, now when you see where these spots are, you'd think it's impossible to clone it out without it being really messy, but believe me, it just takes seconds to do and it is so, so super easy, it's ridiculous. So let's jump into Photoshop and let me share with you this super cool trick that I use to tidy up highlights and hotspots. Okay, let me show you this technique. It's really quick and easy. You're going to love this one. I use it for dealing with areas like this that have blown out. So in this image, we've got a, a spot here in between the poles of the pier. Up here through the handrails, we've got a couple of little spots there. And then down here, the sun came through here, and we've got a couple of blowouts there. So let's deal with this one up here first. So what you need to do is go to your Layers palette. Okay, if that's not open, then just go to Window Layers, and this will open this palette for you. Now, from your background layer, just select a new layer. So it's this little icon down the bottom here. Click on that. We've created a new empty layer that we're going to work in. And then we go to our tools and we select the healing brush tool, which is J. So we want the healing brush, not the spot healing brush. So healing brush tool, select that. Come up here, this is the important bit, is that that would have been on normal. So you want to change that to darken. And we'll stay with sampled. For this particular example, I'm going to leave this um, this box here unchecked, so it's not aligned. When you're working in little confined areas, I find it better to leave that unchecked. If you're working in a big open area, then you can tick it. Now, also up the top here, we need this one here is important, so we can't just work on the current layer because it's an empty layer. There's actually nothing in there, so we want to work on current and below or all layers, doesn't matter for this because there's only two there. So we'll just stay on current and below. So we're all ready to go. We can just change the size of that brush by using our brackets. Now we don't want it too big. So what we do is we just target this area over here. We hold down the Alt or Option key and make a click. So that is now selected that as the target area and that is going to paint that wherever I click and drag. So over here, we just click and we just paint that in. So because the mode is set to darken, it, will, it won't affect these darker areas here because the color that I'm putting in is lighter than that dark area. So there you go, that was pretty quick and easy, wasn't it? So there's that one there done. Now I'll go up here and I'll just show you how easy it is to do in between the handrails. So again, I'll just pick, I reckon this yellow over here is going to be perfect. So Alt, Option, Key, click. So that's my target area. And then I just paint over here. And it'll paint that yellow in. And it's not going to affect the dark handrail because it is darker. There you go. How easy is that? You can virtually do this within seconds. Now I'll show you another one down here. This one's a little bit trickier because we don't have anything right next to it to target. So let's just zoom out a little bit. So with this one, we need to pick, I mean, I could come up here and, and I could target this yellow up here because that's pretty same, pretty similar to the tone in here because it is actually a reflection of that area. So let's go up here and I just, again, Alt Option key down and click. Come down in here, let me just zoom in a little bit for you. And then again, I just click and drag over that. 
Make that target area a bit big. Now that's a bit too orange, I reckon. So let's find something a bit more yellow. That is a bit. I think I might use this yellow in here, actually. So let's. Sorry, wrong one. So Alt Option, click in there, and then just I'll zoom in so you can see that. And then we just click and paint in this one down here. Oops. So you do have to be careful with your target area. Let's just come back up in here now and target off this yellow. And we just paint in there. So there you go, guys. That's how I deal with highlights or little blown out hot spots. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, have a safe day and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Ciao.